Hi guys, uh, continuing on with my vlogging the Tarot of Fools journey series, I am now working with the magician for the next couple of weeks, um, seeing how the energy of the magician can aid me in putting uh, plans and um, ideas and things like that into action in my life. Today I just wanted to have a bit of a chat about how I see the magician, show you a few cards from some different decks, um, etc. So I've got some notes here, uh, bear with me while I go through them. And So on the whole I see the magician um, as making ideas and thoughts, bringing your inner world into reality, um, putting plans into action being confident, self-confident, having the gift of the gab, gathering the tools and the resources that you need in order to get a job done, the as above, so below. So bringing, bringing your ideas and thoughts down and making them into something grounded in reality. Making the intangible tangible, uh, if you will. And I also see the magician very much as a persona who uh, believes that he'll succeed in knowing that practice makes perfect. So we can see this uh, in the Mucha Tarot with the as above, so below stance, bringing the tools and resources together to put plans into action. Again here in the Llewellyn Tarot, I see the Magician very much as working with the natural realm. As I say, bring it, making the intangible tangible, making something into reality. Here we have the Housewives Tarot. Now this is the Salesman. Uh, again, he's got the gift of the gab. You know, he can come knock on your door and and he will fake it till he makes it. Uh, he's full of self-confidence. He's all about creating and selling a product and he believes in his product and he believes in himself. It's also about going out into the community and, and taking that product out into the community and selling it. And we have the Chicoli Tarot. So this to me is about living an authentic life and the ability to shape shift and adapt to to your to your circumstances. It's about doing what you feel inside is is right, following your dreams and making them a reality. Again, it's got a, a sort of a fake it till you make it aspect with the mask and um the little bird in the cage to me represents setting your ideas free and in, in, into the world. The Vanessa Tarot. Again, um, gathering ingredients and making them into something tangible and useful. Manifesting something that will sustain and nourish us. And offering our tools and resources to others. Here we have the Line Strider Tarot. This one is a little bit more about curiosity and cheekiness, making things en enjoyable and interesting and playful um, in the process. Working with tools, testing out ideas and skills, utilizing our instinctual nature. So, again, doing what we feel inside is right for us. Here we have the Lumina Tarot. It's very black and white. Um, this one is understanding the connection between your resources, your tools, and the process of making them into something tangible. So understanding how you get from one point to the next the planning process and also understanding and, and utilizing your own innate inner power 
realizing your ability to to make something a reality and continuing something to its to its natural completion so not giving up believing that you'll succeed believing in your own power so that's just some of some of the ways that I see the magician and um, in the next couple of weeks I'm going to be utilizing a lot of those ideas to carry on my next step um, steps in making plans putting making putting the plans into action um, and I will be vlogging about those as we go on as well so if you want to um, go on this journey with me do feel free to subscribe and uh, tune in next time and um, I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Alright, ta-da, cheery.